Okay, now we understand that the gym probably didn't cause that shoulder injury, that repetitive stress was probably the problem, or a poor posture, or maybe we just lift something that we shouldn't lift. Now we have to go into a rehab protocol. Now there's four exercises that can be generalized into any shoulder injury that you have. And so today I wanna to showcase those exercises and give you guidelines on how to do them properly. And again, this could be if you've already injured yourself or if you wanna be able to prevent some type of posture or shoulder injury that you might face in the future. Now, if you're looking for more coaching, you wanna be able to do this stuff with a coach watching you, then visit us at www.fitclub.fit and then mention getting started. So the first exercise is gonna be the push-up plus, the second is gonna be the wall slides, the third is gonna be the back wall slides, and the fourth is going to be the external rotation, and then I'm gonna give you a bonus one. The fifth, which we've already done, is gonna to be to strengthen the back of that neck. All right, so the first exercise is gonna be what's called a push-up plus. Now, you don't actually have to put all your body weight. The more weight you put into this, the more strength you're gonna build into what's called your serratus interior. And so what this muscle does, it actually keeps your scapula, so your shoulder blades, glued to your back properly. A lot of us have these lifted scapulas, and what ends happening is this muscle becomes weak. So when we do the push-up position, all you gotta do is push away, and you wanna hold and engage for about four seconds, and then release for one. Push away, but you see how my arms are locked out completely? Come back to neutral, okay? So push out, and I'm just, my arms are completely locked out, and I'm just pushing my body further than a neutral position, okay? So what you're gonna do is 10 reps of this, four seconds on with a two second break, or one to two second break. So one, two, three, four, release, one, two, then one, two, three, four, one, two, release, push. All right, so that's the push up plus. The second is a postural exercise where we're gonna be engaging in between the shoulder blades, okay? So this one here is very tough to do, especially if you have a shoulder injury. You wanna keep your elbows placed and just drive your body forward and then coming back down. Again, so it's gonna be one, two, keep your body forward, three, move forward with it, four, sliding back, two, three, four. Press up, two, three, four. You're gonna feel that burn right between your shoulder blades, two, three, four. So what we're doing is we're strengthening the muscles that if these are your shoulder blades, they're gonna work just underneath those shoulder blades. Again, it's gonna pull the shoulder blades back from all of our poor posture. All right, so I'm with my man, JJ Rome. So he's actually got better shoulder range than I do. I've got a bunch of shoulder injuries. We just did a bunch of push-ups and pecs yesterday. So all of my posture, Jerome, is pulled forward. So if I do this exercise, you can see here, that I can't even get this left hand down, right? So this rotator cuff is completely screwed up from sports injuries, and that's why I'm required to do these exercises. Now, Jerome actually has good posture, okay? So he can get his elbows back, and he can press his shoulder blades up against here. So this is your starting position. This is where you wanna to get to first. If you can't, get somebody to push it back, or if you can't do one arm, then drop one arm, and then just focus on one arm at a time, because as soon as you put two up, it makes it hard. Do you feel the difference? Okay, so then all you gotta do is wall slide. So you're gonna go up for four, one, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four. You're gonna do one set, 10 reps, four up, four down, and we're gonna strength, lengthen those chests, we're gonna strengthen the postural muscles, and then we're gonna work on that range of motion into your rotator cuff. Thank you, Jerome. All right, the next one, we're gonna do a self-resisted external rotation. So we're gonna strengthen all the muscles that externally rotate. A lot of us have very strong internals because everything we do is grasping in front of us. So what we wanna do is strengthen the muscle that crosses into the back of that shoulder or to that rotator cuff, sets that posture, okay? Now you don't need any equipment for this, you can just use a wall. And all the exercises that I'm showing you require no equipment. So you can do this at any time, anywhere. If you have a 15 minute break at lunch, bang this out daily. Okay, so what you're gonna do is just keep your elbow glued to your side. Okay, you're gonna start at 90 degrees and you're gonna press two, three, four. And then I want you to move your body, but keep the fist where it is. You're gonna press two, three, four. New spot, can be about a little bit further. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, 
four, one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so different spots. Move your body because the rotator cuff just isn't perfectly linear. There's different elements to this rotator cuff. You want to make sure that you're training it in all different types of angles that we might face throughout the entire day. Do four seconds on with a two second breathing tempo, 10 reps, both sides. We're going to strengthen that rotator cuff. All right, the last, which I showed you in the last video, and if you didn't watch the last video, go watch that video because you're gonna find out why you might have a shoulder problem and it's not coming from the gym. So what you wanna do is interlock the fingers, put it on the base of the skull, okay? So you can see from the side, I'm already chest up into that perfect posture position. My head is pressing into my hands because I'm super tight. You're trying to get those elbows back as far as you can, squeezing between the shoulder blades, and then you're just gonna press your head in two, three, four, then relax two, three, four, press and open up the arms. So push your shoulder blades together, two, three, four, relax, two, three, four. Now press, two, three, four, relax, two, three, four. By doing that, you're self-stretching the pecs, you're engaging those postural muscles in the back of your shoulders, but also you're strengthening your neck to get rid of that forward poke. Now guys, if you like this video and you're doing these exercises, please make sure that you're giving the video a like. Throw a comment as to if you've tried these exercises. If you're new to the Fit Fam, visit us at www.fitclub.fit. Mention Get Started. If you're a current member and you're struggling with your nutrition, then you obviously know that we got that belly burn challenge coming up. So you can either just send us an email or send us a text and we'll get you signed up for that next belly burn.